Well, when the leaves fall, the spirits rise, and we're talking about the flavors that dominate the season. After all, a little apple or pumpkin spice makes everything nice. Am I right? That's right. Dave Kiawa is here with some seasonal recipes that you can make right at home. Dave, these all look fantastic. Mm -hmm. So what are you mixing up today? Well, they're going to taste great. Looks like Ron's going to fix the weather for us, so fall's actually oh, coming. Oh, there you so go. So I saw that, and I'm going to start you out with the Fine Wine and Good Spirits Cocktail of the Month. And this is called a smoky ghoul time. Smoky ghoul oh, time. Cute. Okay, very, yeah. love very it. punny. Yeah, yes. very it is. Punny, yes. And it's smoky because it starts out with one and three quarter ounces of illegal mezcal. Ah. Wait, so if you, yeah. illegal. Illegal. Well, it's legal here in Pennsylvania, oh, okay. but I, I illegal. Like, usually like That's the name of it. Right, right. Exactly. Oh. So right. illegal mezcal. Okay. Now mezcal is basically tequila that has a smoky persona, mm -hmm. so the smoky ghoul time. Oh, okay. Then we're going to add a half an ounce of Cointreau, which is an orange liqueur from France. Yes. Then we add two ounces of pomegranate juice, three quarters of an ounce of fresh lemon juice, one tablespoon of maple syrup. And then we're going to add some thyme sprigs. So I'm going to mix all this together in a shaker. And we use a shaker on this cocktail because we want to kind of bruise those thyme leaves a little bit to infuse the thyme flavor into the cocktail. And then when we do this, we're going to top it off with just a little bit of Gosling's ginger beer. Ooh. So, oh, wow. Let's go ahead and get a little smoky Ooh, what a dual pretty thyme. Color. It is. And do you come up with all these recipes? These, this is our cocktail of the month, so from Fine Wine and Good Spirits. So from, all right, so it's a whole staff of people, or it's edge you? To wow. edge. No, this okay. is a whole staff of people. <laughs> okay, all right. I would like to take credit, David, but uh, I just can't. Yeah, because it has all the perfect colors, or the flavors of fall in there. Yes, it does. Now, you taste this, and you see what you guys think okay. about right. Fine Thank Wine you. and Good Spirits. willing to try this. Of the smoky month. Ghoul. Cheers. Cheers. Smoky Cheers. Ghoul time. Okay. What do you think? A little smoky, Ooh. got the pomegranate flavor in there, just a little yeah. bit of ginger beer to kind of savory it up. Do you taste the thyme in there as well? Yeah, this it, is perfect for like sitting by a campfire. I can exactly. I can totally eat that smoky yeah. flavor. But the pomegranate and the ginger, like I got that too. Yeah. yeah. And mm. so mezcal is just tequila, only smoky flavored tequila. It, it is made in the same process okay. as tequila, mm. but it just has a smokier flavor due to that process. Like this one's great. Similar. Starts out with agave and goes from there. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we're going on to this next one, which we I are. honestly love the name of this, the, even the, though. <laughs> the Rotten Pumpkin. The how, doesn't it sound so appetizing? I'll have one of those Rotten Pumpkins. The yeah, Rotten Pumpkin usually is like the first week in November, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. Exactly. On your, on your porch going, <laughs> you want oh. to do the pumpkin smash, yeah. Mm -hmm. All so right. with this, we're going to, it's so super easy. We're going to start out with four ounces of orange juice. Okay. okay. And so we're gonna, it's good for you. It is good for you. <laughs> yeah, vitamin C. There you go. And we're going to top it off with one and a half ounces ounces of Romagna Black Sambuca. Ooh. So Sambuca is a product of Italy mm -hmm. that's made from anise. So this is basically like black licorice. But what we're trying to make here is a stratified cocktail. And you'll notice that it's Look doing its how magic. Cool. Mm -hmm. So the, the Sambuca goes to the bottom and the orange right. juice goes to the top. Now, when you go to taste this, I would encourage you to stir it up. Okay. Otherwise, you're getting all Sambuca and all orange juice. Right. But when you stir it up, you'll kind of blend that together, and in turn, you'll have a more balanced cocktail. So it's just these two ingredients. Just That's it? Okay. All right. I, I've curious. had Sambuca before, like regular Sambuca. Just as a, as a like a cordial or a yeah, shot after, after dinner. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I would never think to pair it with orange juice. Yeah. Woo! Ooh, I can definitely taste like the black licorice. You're type definitely going to get the. I can flavor. smell the black Ooh, yeah. licorice. It's just oh. wafting off. Mm -hmm. Oh, and it makes my nose hair stand up. <laughs> like it's it, it's kind of got a little woof. And you can see why you want to. It's already starting to stratify again yeah. just oh, from that little stir. stir. Exactly. Yeah, this is a drink that keeps you working. It keeps you wow. working, David. Rotten pumpkin. Well, this is rotten not rotten pumpkin. at all. This no, is actually this is pretty delicious. delicious. Yeah. All right, so this last one, you're actually going to put us to work. I'm going to put right. you guys to work. Kay. So this is a spiced apple brandy. I'm going to need this. And it right? really is quite fun. Uh, I put the ingredients together in the shaker. You're going to stir it up, but it starts out because this, this recipe is made for two. It has a half a cup of Laird's apple jack brandy, which okay. is apple brandy. Oh, fun. Then we have one cup of apple cider, a half a cup of ginger ale. Then we put in one teaspoon of 
Cinnamon, so ground cinnamon. Cinnamon, is, wow. okay. And then we're going to do a lot to garnish this. We're going to garnish it with a cinnamon stick, some star anise, and some apple slices. Very I feel like I'm trying to do my best, Dave Kiawa. You I are. Into these, these items. <laughs> I, I have to worry. I might lose my job. No, never, See Dave. That? No. Well, and, and you also gave us a tip earlier. So if you're doing this at home, because of the ginger ale, do not shake it. Just stir it. That's exactly right. right. Okay. So ginger ale has okay. carbonation in it. If you do shake this, it's going to pop the top off. So right. I think let's go ahead and enough. do that. You let's have it. Strain it in, David. Ready let's to go. strain it in. Woo! Pretty Look color that. too. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we have the the garnish. We need the garnish. You it have almost the looks garnish. like an apple cider almost. It it is very much so. an apple cider. And this one actually could be Look served at how beautiful. warm if you'd like. Ooh, you okay. Could. Oh, that's a good idea. Thank Daisy, you. There you go. I'll wait for you. Look how pretty. Well, look at, it's, it's look all at you thinking this. Okay, through, David David. Highfield, everybody, huh? Oh, good job. Look at him right go. Out here we, for we, we know, we know yeah. he's a pro. Oh, look at that. All right. Now, Cheers. give that a Thank sip. So this much. is truly okay. the taste of fall. I think all three of them really. Oh my gosh, it's like an apple pie. Is it? Yeah, this is like an apple pie. Oh, that's you took this the words can, right out of my mouth. This I can yes. get used to. Perfect all for three like of Thanksgiving. Them. And, and it is, oh. and because it tastes like apple pie, this gives us the perfect opportunity oh. to tell our audience when in vibing on cocktails to please drink responsibly. Sometimes they can't creep up on you. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Well, thank you so much. It's this was pleasure. amazing. And for a copy of these recipes and more from Fine Wine and Good Spirits, just go to our website, PittsburghTodayLive.com. Oh, darn it. I thought I had one more chance to take a sip before you were done reading. <laughs>